Cole, thanks. Well, the weather that we had this morning forced Indiana school districts to make a big decision. Do we close for the day or do we open after a two hour delay? What drives that decision? Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van White joins us live from Noblesville, where two districts reach different conclusions. So, Rich, what's it like out there right now? It's cold, Scott. It's colder than it was this morning, but roads are improving. We, we're looking at two different school districts, neighbors, Noblesville, where we're standing now, Fishers, where we spent much of the morning. Each one of those communities looked at their own circumstances. They looked at what occurred overnight. They looked at the forecast. They looked at the roads, and they came up with two different decisions. Hamilton Southeastern kept its buses parked and schools closed. The district's transportation director drove Fisher streets. He didn't like what he saw. The major thoroughfares are passable. There are a lot of slick spots, but they're passable. But the neighborhood streets, where children wait and buses stop and go, were a different story. This neighborhood street looks pretty good, but as you can see, it doesn't take much to slide around. Somebody's not going to be standing on the curb. They'll be standing in the street. We'll try to stop, you know, and the, there's the likelihood we could slide and slide into them, and it's just not worth that risk. Parents we spoke with say school officials made the right call. And it's going to get colder, so they're going to refreeze and safety first. But what's it like for you? <laughs> it's difficult because now I have to find a babysitter. In neighboring Noblesville, schools opened late. The superintendent opted for a two hour delay. A spokeswoman said the roads were only wet and Hamilton County's travel advisory was being lifted. But as buses rolled, the snow picked up and roads worsened. Police say this teenager slid off the road while driving to school. Opening schools, parent Rob Higgins said, was a ridiculous idea. Temperatures are going to go, go down throughout the day. It's just going to refreeze. And of course, kids are getting ready to come home. You know, you've got the problem all over again. In addition to road conditions and weather forecast, each school district looks at a variety of other circumstances. Their school buses, how easily will it be to get them started? And where are they going? Rural roads or suburban roads, flat roads or hilly roads? The most important factor, though, every school district says, are children. Student safety is the number one concern. It is an issue that they deal with independently because of their different and independent circumstances they all face. Reporting live, Rich Van White, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.